Hello friends, a very warm welcome to all of you to electrical basic knowledge. So friends when someone enters the electrical or electronics field, their first question is what is electricity, where does it come from, and how is it used in electrical and electronic items. In today's video, we will learn about electricity. My experience tells me that the more questions we ask, the more we learn. There is no age limit for learning, we can learn at any age. We should gather knowledge from wherever we can so, without any more delay, let's start today's video. First, we will learn about electricity. What is electricity or current? Where does the electricity in our homes come from? What is voltage ampere and watt in this electricity? And how is this electricity current measured? So, first of all, we will ask the question of where the electricity in our homes comes from. The answer is that this electricity is brought from where it is generated. This electricity is brought from the river hydroelectricity power plant and industrial factory power plant to the nearby powerhouse. Then this electricity is supplied to our homes. This electricity is called alternating current or AC current, and it is about AC 220 volt. Now, the second question, what is voltage ampere and watt in electricity or current? The answer is that, when we turn on the electrical and electronics items, the electricity current flows through the wire in the electrical and electronics items. This flow is called voltage, and voltage has a limited pressure, which is called ampere. With the same ampere, the voltage is input to the electrical and electronics items. The electrical and electronics items has its own weight, which is called watt. The current used in that electrical and electronics items is calculated according to the wattage. We can also understand voltage, ampere, or watt by taking the support of five things. Number 1. We will understand voltage as flow. Number 2. We will understand ampere as pressure. Number 3. We will understand watt as weight. Number 4. We will understand wire as a pipe. And number 5. We will understand electricity current as water. When water flows through a pipe with pressure, and when water is poured into a bucket, the bucket takes water according to its capacity to bear weight. So, the third question, how can electricity current be measured in different ways? The answer is that electricity current can be measured in three ways, first as voltage, second as ampere, and third as watt. Let's understand it well. Current represents the flow of electric charge, and its unit is ampere. Describing the flow rate of current is essential for the design and performance of an electric circuit. Ampere is the unit of current and it measures the flow rate of electric charge. Therefore, it is correct to explain it with the analogy of flow rate. Just as the flow rate of water is measured in liters per minute, the flow rate of electric current is measured in amperes. Similarly, explaining voltage with the analogy of pressure is also correct. Voltage is the force that pushes electric charge. In this way, voltage pushes the electric current to flow through the wire. Just as pressure makes water flow through a pipe, voltage also makes electric current flow through a wire. Whenever we consider purchasing an electrical or electronics item, we keep two things in mind, the voltage and wattage of the item. This tells us whether the item is suitable for use in our country. In India, electrical and electronics items are designed for 220 volts, while in America, they are designed for 110 volts. The wattage of the item tells us how much electricity it will consume, and amperage tells us at what speed this electronic or electrical item is drawing electricity. So friends, from this we come to know that the voltage, amperage, and wattage of this electricity are in a relationship. I hope that you all have understood electricity well. And in the coming days, you will find more informative videos on this channel. If you liked this video, please like, share, and comment. So, friends, we will meet again soon. Thank you so much for today.